You are cut off from the rest of the world by a mysterious dome. Invisible, indestructible, and completely innocent. Day 93 under the dome. What started as impolite behavior has devolved into a homicidal free-for-all, once seen only in inexpensive nasty. On Operation Fishbowl, nuclear detonations rent the sky five times. And if the sun is angled the right way, only when you're outdoors, you will get a rainbow. So that's the first question. Why can you not simulate a rainbow indoors? Uh, there's a stipulation. You can create a rainbow indoors, but you need a mirror. You need a mirror to, to do a science test and create a, a rainbow inside. So, I beg the question, if you need a mirror indoors, what's providing the mirror when you are outdoors? There is a mirror when you are outside to create the rainbow. And that mirror is the dome. It's catching sunlight and it's meeting itself to create all the various colors. It collides in the water droplet, serves as a lens, and the slight varying, uh, variations of angle creates the colors of the rainbow. A rainbow proves that there's a dome above your head. Okay, so someone out there pointed me to a series of videos. Anyway, I went on a YouTube ramble and found the, a video mentioning the blue stone there, you see. It's very pretty looking, translucent looking. It's got well white stripes in it. And it was mysterious and found by an archaeologist who couldn't explain it and somehow determined it was millions of years old and artificial somehow. So he had it analyzed. So it's not like there was a presumption of its age and it being artificial somehow. So here we go. Uh, it was supposed to be 77% oxygen, silicon, sodium, calcium, and carbon. So when something has a high percentage of oxygen, you can call it an oxide. And if it has silicon and sodium, it could be sodium silicate, uh, calcium silicate, car uh, something like that, right? Well, and, and there it is. It's right there. So here we go. We're just going to go here. You may have noticed there's an equation over on the left there that popped up. Here we go. So anyway, sodium silicate is, a guess what color? Bright blue. And it can be artificial. It can be all sorts of colors. Um, so someone had a chemical analysis done of something, and the first thing that comes up when you type in 70% oxygen, or more, and silicon, and sodium, is sodium silicate. Uh, this is supposed to be a mystery. Now, when someone pointed this out in a YouTube video, he got a ration of crap for it. So let's see what I get. Now, remember, this is what the stuff looked like. I didn't. Ty I typed in sodium silicate. This is what came up. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, it's called water glass. It's defined. It would blah, 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 blah. anyway. It's been around or understood since 1640, and you can have it as liquor of silicum. Sil silicum by melting sand with excess alkali. It can be an artificial material. It's a type of glass. Um, but you can do all sorts of other reactions to do it. You, it's used, it's been around since 1640 and it's artificially produced. And how would you age something like that? I mean, when you, when you determine the age of things, you don't just base it on where you find it or how deep, or it's carbon-14 dating or anything. You, you test all sorts of things. What I am showing you is an image of the firmament, the flat earth, the dome, the thing that was stretched out in heaven, the thing that's mentioned in the Bible numerous times. Let there be an expanse in the midst of the waters and let it separate the waters from the waters. And it goes on and on and on and on. And it's right there.
it's right there directly in front of everybody, yet so many people don't want to believe this. If you keep looking and keep looking and keep looking at the stars, looking at the sun, looking at the moon like I have and like I do, you really start to come to the conclusion that everything that, that's above us isn't what we've been told whatsoever at all. For instance, why is it that when you're standing in front of the ocean, the ocean looks greenish, but when you look at it from an airplane or from a drone or a balloon, the ocean is blue. And then conversely, when you're standing on the earth and looking up, the sky also looks blue. Well, maybe I found the reason, and I'm pretty sure I did. And this literally, no pun intended, just fell out of the clear blue sky into my lap today. It's really, really strange, but I think it's a bit of proof that I, for one, have never seen before, not even in the flat earth community. So check this out. It turns out in 1990, an Italian geologist, see, always good guys are Italian like myself, named Angelo Patono was visiting Sierra Leone in the vicinity of the border of Guinea, Conakry, to verify if a certain region of the country known as Kono was indeed rich deposit of diamonds. So you see, blah, 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 on and on they go. And then they go on to the story where they found this. And this is called the Sky Stone. Now, this is insane. I am almost positive, and I think they are too. They just don't want to say it, that this thing is a literal piece of the firmament. This rock is made up of 77.17%. Notice the three sevens. 77.17% oxygen. And when they crushed this up to put it underneath the microscope, they could no longer see it. It lost its color. This is a real thing. This is an absolutely real thing. After returning to, to Europe, Petoni took the blue stone to the Institute of Natural blah, blah, blah. To his surprise, tests showed that stone was not turquoise. It wasn't even officially cataloged. The blue stone he had discovered not only does not correspond to any known mi mineral, but the same material was also, also recently located in Morocco. Do you see what's going on? The sky is falling. How's that? And they literally have imagery of it all over the place. This is the stone itself right here. And it's pretty amazing. It was found with all sorts of artifacts. And again, they tested this thing to 3,000 degrees Celsius, yet its composition wouldn't alter. It was made out of 77.1% pure oxygen, and the remaining was carbon, calcium, and another unknown element. They were eventually able to locate an organic compound that is currently unknown to science, dated at 55,000 years old. That doesn't really do very much for me. Amazingly, it seems that the sky stone is not unique. There has been, in fact, similar finds in other places on the Earth, most notably Brazil. The other sample of sky stone was submitted to GRS Swiss Labs for testing and the analysis by an anonymous dealer. Intrigued artist, artist, American artist and designer Jared Collins tried to buy the small cutaway, but the dealer refused to sell it. He wouldn't even name a price for a larger full stone. So these guys have literally found these stones all over the world. And look at it. It's exactly, exactly the same color as the sky. It's made out of the same color. It's made out of the same elements that we literally breathe. This is, in my opinion, the firmament. Now, lots of people will try to, you know, what about the sun? What about the moon? In my opinion, the sun is incredibly close to us. And I can, you know, I've got hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of footage of the sun and the, you know, how close it is, how local it is, the sun doing odd things, what appears to be two suns, so forth and so on. And then there's people that have never ending footage of the clouds behind the sun, the clouds behind the moon so forth and so on and now suddenly we're having this enormous solar eclipse monday and the shadow is going to pass from west to east which if you had an object passing in front of another object i guess you could cast a shadow from west to east but the problem with that entire thing is it would mean the moon is orbiting twice a day around the earth and that's not what's going on because i've got imagery of the, the moon sitting outside my house all day 
all day long in the clear blue sky. Clear blue sky. I got a funny feeling that this stuff has been around, that these guys know this. And the one reason, the one true reason that they hide the flat earth, the one true reason that NASA is always doing their going to space puppet shows and, oh, you know, People have the technology to see the moon now, but so we can't go back there. We lost the technology and it's upsetting is because they know if they tried to pull another moon landing hoax, we have the ability to see if they actually landed there and they can't have that. They're hiding God and that's all there is to it. I don't know what else to tell you. Every other civilization knew it and now they all laugh at anyone that questions this and says, well, this was proven 500 years ago. It was proven 500 years ago, no, it was it was a rumor that was started by wealthy, rich, elite people 500 years ago that didn't even have the ability to fly up and test their theory. And yet today, the theory still stands, much like the theory of gravity, much like the, the theory and the testing that's been done on the Earth, showing that it's not even moving. Do you really believe that we're flying through outer space at a thousand miles an hour, rocketing around the sun at 66? You know what I mean? It's all absolutely ludicrous and ridiculous, but I digress. This is what's all around us. That is a small piece of the firmament. I can't stress it anymore. This is a real thing. This really did happen, and I've never heard of it in my entire life. 77.17% oxygen and then one unknown element. They can't break it, they can't burn it, they can't bend it, and they can't explain it, and they're not selling it. At any rate, links will be in the description. This pretty much wraps it up for me. I mean, it just wraps it up for me. There is no two ways about it. We are in a, they're aliens, they're simply fallen angels and demons, exactly like they look like. We are in an enclosed system. The sun, the moon, the stars are all things just like the Bible told us they were. In 1990, an Italian geologist named Angelo Pitoni would find an unusual stone while visiting Sierra Leone, a mysterious artifact that has baffled all who have studied it. A local Fuller chief was said to have given it to Pitoni, a blue stone with mysterious white lines upon its surface. After returning to Europe, Pitoni took the stone to the Institute of Natural Sciences of Geneva and then University La Sapienza in Rome for further analysis. To his surprise, tests revealed that it was not a turquoise or indeed anything that could officially be identified. Furthermore, the blue stone didn't correspond to any known mineral. But the most intriguing thing is its color. Researchers still do not understand how the stone has acquired or retained its color. This even though several universities and laboratories have analyzed the artifact at great length. It seems its color remains a mystery. Mysteriously, at the University of Utrecht, the stone underwent several tests with use of strong acids, but none of the acids could affect the stone. It was even heated to over 3000 degrees Celsius, yet its composition wasn't altered. When a small piece of the stone was pulverized and viewed under the microscope, it curiously lost its color. Now known as the Sky Stone, according to analysis, an amazing 77.17% of the stone is somehow made of pure oxygen. The remaining percentage was divided between carbon, calcium, and another unknown element. When researchers crushed a piece of the sky rock and mixed it with acetone, hexane, and methylene, and then enhanced the extractions with ultrasound, they were eventually able to locate an organic compound that is currently unknown to science. Dated at 55,000 years old, just what is the sky stone? How could it possibly be made mostly of oxygen? Is this stone a past remnant left by a once advanced civilization? Or maybe its origins are not even local to Earth? Amazingly, it seems that Pitoni's sky stone is not unique. There has in fact been similar finds in other places of the Earth, most notably Brazil. The other sample of sky stone was submitted to GRS Swiss Labs for testing and analysis by an anonymous dealer. Intrigued, American artist and designer Jared Collins tried to buy the small cutaway piece from the dealer so he could study it further, but the dealer refused to sell it. He wouldn't even name a price for the larger full stone. It seems there are indeed other exhibits of this curious stone made mostly of pure oxygen in existence, 
Yet the mystery surrounding their makeup and origin persists to this day. Question, what was the firmament in the Bible? Answer, the firmament, from the Latin firmamentum, meaning sky or expanse, is mentioned 17 times in the King James Version of the Bible and refers to the expanse of the heavens above the earth. Nine of the occurrences of firmament are in the first chapter of the Bible as part of the creation account. Genesis 1-6-8 says, And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. And the evening and the morning were the second day. The firmament is called heaven, that is, it is what people see when they stand outside and look up. It is the space which includes the Earth's atmosphere and the celestial realm. In the firmament, we see the sun, moon, and stars. In modern translations the firmament is often called the expanse or the sky. Genesis says that the firmament separated the water under the expanse from the water above it, Genesis 1-7. Originally, God created the earth with water under the sky, terrestrial and subterranean water, and water above the sky, possibly a water canopy which enwrapped the earth in a protective layer. We find firmament used again in Psalms, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament sheath his handiwork, Psalm 19-1. Also, in Psalm 150-1, praise ye the Lord. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Firmament is used in only two other books of the Bible, Ezekiel, five times, and Daniel, once. In Ezekiel, each occurrence takes place within a vision. For example, then I looked, and, behold, in the firmament that was above the head of the cherubims there appeared over them as it were a sapphire stone, as the appearance of the likeness of a throne, Ezekiel 10 to 1. Daniel 12 to 3 says, and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars for ever and ever. In short, the firmament is a vast expanse, specifically the atmosphere or sky. The word is found only in the King James Version and other older translations of the Bible. Exodus 24:10, And they saw the God of Israel, and there was under his feet as it were a paved work of sapphire stone and it was like the very heavens in its clarity. Moses and the Seventy Elders Exodus 28,18 The second row shall be a turquoise, a sapphire, and a diamond. On the ephod of Aaron, the high priest. Exodus 39,11 The second row, a turquoise, a sapphire, and a diamond. Same as above. Job 28-5-7 As for the earth, from it comes bread but underneath it is turned up as by fire, its stones are the source of sapphires, and it contains gold dust. Job 28 hours 12 minutes minus 16, but where can wisdom be found? And where is the place of understanding? Man does not know its value, nor is it found in the land of the living. The deep says it is not in me, and the sea says, it is not with me. It cannot be purchased for gold nor can silver be weighed for its price. It cannot be valued in the gold of a fir, in precious onyx or sapphire. Speaking of wisdom. Song of Solomon 5:14. His hands are rods of gold set with beryl. His body is carved with ivory inlaid with sapphires. My beloved. Isaiah 54 colon 11, O you afflicted one, tossed with tempest, and not comforted. Behold I will lay your stones with colorful gems, and lay our foundations with sapphires. Speaking of the church. Lamentations 4-7, Her Nazarites were brighter than snow and whiter than milk, they were more ruddy in body than rubies, like sapphire in their appearance. Ezekiel 1:26, And above the firmament over their heads was the likeness of a throne, in appearance like a sapphire stone. On the likeness of the throne was a likeness with the appearance of a man high above it. The Prophet's Heavenly Vision Ezekiel 10-1 And I looked, and there in the firmament that was above the head of the cherubim, there appeared something like a sapphire stone, having the appearance of the likeness of a throne. Ezekiel 28-13 
you were in Eden, the garden of God, every precious stone was your covering, the sardius, topaz, and diamond, beryl, onyx, and jasper, sapphire, turquoise, and emerald with gold. The workmanship of your timbrels and pipes was prepared for you on the day you were created. Lucifer. Revelation 21 19, and the foundations of the wall of the city were adorned with all kinds of precious stones, the first foundation was jasper, 